Hi, in this video you will learn how to sync data between SQL Server and Amazon Redshift. In order to use this pattern, go to the Patterns catalog under the Projects folder, you can find SQL Server Redshift Sync Pattern and you can save it onto your canvas. Now go open up the last modified snap and what you'll want to do is download the last modified JSON zip file, extract it and upload it to this project in order to save it to this pipeline. For example, open this up and you can upload the file here. And once you have uploaded it, you could select it and add it into the snap and go ahead and save it and close the snap. Now go over to SQL Server, select Snap. What you want to do is either add the account here or go to the drop down menu to find an already existing SQL Server account that you can use. Go ahead and save it and close. Now go to the Redshift Bulk Update Snap and add an account or go to the drop down menu and find a already existing Redshift account on file and then click save and close. Let's go back to the SQL Server select snap so we can add in the schema name, the table name, and the word clause. Once you have done that, you can save it and close. And then we can go back to the Redshift snap and add similar things, label, schema name, table name, and also the key column that you want to see. Once you have done that, you can validate the pipeline. Once you have done that, the pipeline will turn slightly green. You can go ahead and execute the pipeline. It'll turn yellow and it'll turn dark green once the pipeline has successfully executed. Now, the data that you have selected between SQL Server and Redshift have been cinched. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please go to community.snaplogic.com.